people have found a cancelled Neo Geo 64 game under a collapsed tree. What? Like someone buried it? Yeah. So the prototype game was Samurai Showdown 64 for the uh, unsuccessful Neo Geo 64 arcade cabinet. Uh, it was the first 3D fighting game developed by SNK. Uh, the ne- Hyper Neo... Sorry, it was the Hyper Neo Geo 64... Uh, Triple is going to have a hard time. Oh, good time. Oh, good time correcting. correcting. All this. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so... not looking forward to that Discord conversation. <laughs> um, yeah, so it flopped and only five games were ever released, including, well, this game wasn't released. It was a prototype. Uh, quote, as reported by Eurogamer, machine repair specialist Craig Weiss found a rare prototype of Samurai Showdown 64 in a field under a fallen tree. That's unreal. Uh, he'd found the field owned by a woman in California after he repaired an old pinball machine and asked where about the client, whereabouts the client had gotten the pinball game. The person told Weiss he bought it from a lady, and the repair specialist headed out to her place to see if she had any other old pinball games for parts or sale. Uh, what he found instead was six pallets of SNK USA materials bought by her husband in 2000 during an auction held by an ex-SNK employee. Who just takes six pallets of arcade stuff? I don't know. All right, guys, I'm quitting. I'm, uh, I'm just going to take that new game. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys don't mind. Bye. Uh, these pallets were just out in a field sitting there for 20 years. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. So an unreleased prototype game was found just out in a field in a pallet underneath a collapsed tree. Absolutely ridiculous. And I love these stories because it proves that there's still little nuggets out there. <laughs> and this nuggets. looks, I mean, once they got it up and going and like patched it through, it looks like a f- almost fully operational game. I wonder how much work they had to do to it. I, I, I'm going to look into it a little bit more, but that's crazy. Just the fact that it survived out in the weather as well. Like so it's was it pallets. not in anything? No, it was in a pallet. And a tree had fallen on the pallet. Well, six pallets. So a tree covering a pallet providing shelter from any sort of rain, storm, weather. Where in America was this? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like this, like Nevada. So much weather shit has been happening in America the last twenty years. God damn, that's impressive. That is unreal. You know what else is really impressive? What they found a cancelled castle. Oh, they not they, but a different set of people found a cancelled Castlevania game. Uh, According to Unseen 64, Castlevania Resurrection would have been followed, uh, sorry, would have followed Castlevania Legends protagonist Sonia Belmont and a new character named Victor Belmont as they travelled into the past to deal with a Dracula before the events of the first game. While the game did make an appearance during a private showing at E3 1999 in the September 1999 issue of uh, of the United Kingdom's Dreamcast magazine, Konami quietly cancelled it in March 2000. That's right, it's a, a Dreamcast game. They found the disc with all the code on there. He gets into a debug menu and can just access this Castlevania game. That's unreal. I, I thought we had a Victor. Oh, no, we had Richter. Richter, yeah. Richter Bell. Um, yeah. So if you would like to play this uh, cancelled Castlevania game, it's currently up on eBay. And it can be yours for the low, low price of 20000 US dollars. Oh, yeah, I'll get it. Uh, I might I wait till payday, like but that. I, I just yeah, that's unreal that they find that stuff. Finding you know old we hacked the dino. We we cover the news of video games, past, present, and future. And me being a big fan of the past, I'm a big big fan of this, but not so much of the selling for twenty thousand US because no, just release it. I just really hope the video game preservation society like um, gets their hands on it. Oh, I hope so too. Like I hope they provide they a donations. copy to them. Well, surely you could burn it, right? That's how discs work. It was, the, <laughs> it was the Dreamcast. It didn't have any protection on it anyway. Yeah, that's true. You well, I mean, burn the actual everything. disc, like, it'd have to be oh, ISO, you mean, right? Oh, oh, look, I don't know how all that stuff works. Yeah. Braden. Do you know what I do know works? 